it's Cindy from My Style Spa. Now I know like me, many of you have probably struggled in the past with relationships and marriage. Why? Because 50% of marriages in the US alone end in divorce. And that's just marriage. If we're talking relationships, the number is a lot higher. I mean, most of the relationships we've entered in have failed, right? So it can be really discouraging. I know for me personally, I never thought I'd be 39 and single. All I remember wanting as a kid was just to have that fairy tale happy ending, that find the one and be happy. And I've been totally unsuccessful. And it's always kind of blown my mind because it doesn't seem like it should be that hard, right? And I do know people that are happy and have made it last. My grandparents who recently just passed made it to 72 years together in marriage. And I know they were happy. So I know there are amazing stories out there, but how do, how do we find them, right? And you know, I have a background in psychology. I mastered in it. I went into counseling. I've wanted to help with marriage counseling and family therapy. And so it's kind of been, kind of blown my mind. Like, why can't I figure this out? I've always been immersed in self-help books, relationship books, um, even taking courses, e-courses, wanting to know more, wanting to figure out why I've been, I've struggled personally in my own life with making a marriage and relationship work. And it's really been frustrating. And I know I'm not alone in this. I know many of us struggle with this um, or we get married and the sparks you know, fade and we're not happy anymore or we just keep in finding ourselves with the wrong person, which seems to happen to me. So I was really excited to come across a really helpful book that really kind of opened my eyes and kind of made things a lot more clear for me. I saw patterns in the men I date, patterns in myself, in my relationships, and even after taking all these courses and reading all these books and my psychology background, I just didn't quite get it, but this book honestly like kind of just opened my eyes and made me see things more clearly, and I'm feeling much more hopeful and really excited about life now as well. Um, my last marriage ended about five years ago. I went through a relationship again in the last three years. It ended early this year and I kind of was just over it. Like I was like, I'm going to fill my house with cats now and forget men. Like I'm just over it at 39. I don't even want to deal with it anymore. So I've been really discouraged and it's really kind of sad because you know, that's what I wanted was just to find my one. Doesn't that, isn't that what most of us want? But this book has totally given me hope and I am so excited to share it with you guys. It is The Grey Dance of Love by George Ehrman. And George has based this book on over 200 books of his own reading, 1200 articles, in-depth um, experiments, and then his own personal journey as well. And it's kind of genius, you guys. I really love what he has to say. It just kind of puts it all into perspective. It's a new take on thing on relationships that I've never heard before even though I've recognized a lot of the authors that he's talked about. And things just are really just made to made easy for us to understand and solve the problem and help us find lasting love, because who doesn't want that? So in George Ehrman's book, The Great Dance of Love, he goes over eight personality characters, which I've never heard before, but I found super helpful. I was easily like very easily able to identify my own personality character in love and then the personality that I keep choosing, which tends to be very much the same guy. So that was really eye-opening for me. I could easily see, oh my gosh, here's what's happening and here's why things aren't working out. And then when I've gone the opposite extreme and thought, well, I'm just gonna go for the super nice guy, forget the bad boy that we all tend to go after and go after the nice guy. And then I wonder myself, why hasn't that worked out? That seems like it should work out, right? Well, in his book, he goes over why why it doesn't always work out, why we get friend zoned, why we get cheated on sometimes, why we cheat, and why we fall out of love, why the sparks fade in a marriage, and why we are attracted to the bad boy or bad girl. So it's really pretty eye-opening. Um, it's a really great read, really easy read. Um, I read it pretty quickly. It took me about five days of a couple hours of reading, but I was completely immersed in it. I wanted to find the answers. And at the end of it, I feel really hopeful and excited and I think I'm ready to get back in the game and, you know, maybe put down the cats and start working towards finding love again. So George Ehrman in his book, The Great Ants of Love, will also, um, he also shows you how you can trigger different hormones that will help you attract, be, and fall in love and stay in love. So that's pretty cool too. I mean, you can just find a whole bunch of good, helpful information in this book as well, besides the personality characters and why things are happening, like getting friends out. He gives you a great step-by-step -step guide to take you from where you are now to where you want to be. 
and I just love the hopefulness it gives me. Um, it's just a really great read that really puts things into perspective for me. For me personally, uh, it helped stick out like, oh, here's the red flags that I've kind of ignored in the past. So that I found extremely helpful. So I know what to look for in the future, what to avoid, and you know, how to stay on the right track and find the right person for me. He also gives eight specific tailored love potions to help you find your match and keep your match. And he also talks about the missing link that makes all relationships magical. For me, what I really found interesting too was um, my good friend, her relationship just ended her marriage of 11 years and I thought they were the happiest couple ever and I was completely bombed and so sad to hear and just kind of devastated like if it can't work for them, how can it work for any of us? You we know? fall into this friendship in our own relationship, the spark's gone. And in this book, he talks about how to reignite the spark. And honestly, it's a lot easier than you think it would be. I was pretty surprised, but I could totally see how it works. And I love it. So I really love this book, you guys. If you're struggling with your relationship, if your marriage is kind of, you know, not maybe as exciting and passionate as you would like it to be, or you're stuck like me and having a hard time finding the right one, I highly suggest this read. It's a really great book, very eye-opening, has some really just awesome information that you won't find anywhere else. I love that the author really cares passionately about helping people find love. You can tell in his work that he really is dedicated to this, really wants to help people, and really is giving you some great tips and advice that I think you'll find helpful just like I did. So if you wanna learn more, you can get The Great Dance of Love by George Ehrman on his website which is thegreatanceoflove.com. You can read a little bit more about there. And for every book that you buy, a dollar is given to children to help educate them through the Unstoppable Foundation. So really cool too. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know below. Um, comment below what you're going through, how love's treated you, relationships, what any of your concerns might be, what you're looking for. I would love to hear them and help you out the best I can. So please be sure to comment, you guys, and also subscribe for free weekly content. And if you like this video, please like, comment, or share. And thank you so much for watching.